So I'm here with uh, Lauren, Catherine, Cathy and Gemma from Station 8. And first of all, ladies, congratulations on your award. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, Catherine, we start with you. Can you just give us a, a brief overview of what the business is all about? Okay, so it's a hair and beauty um, um, salon uh, in the Valley of Mythen Ride in Hebden Bridge. Um, that we, it's a one-stop shop, so we have a variety of different talents within our team. Okay, and uh, well, let's go to Lauren first. Can you tell us a little bit more about what you do at Station 8, Lauren? Well, I started in June 2022 as a massage therapist, and then things sort of progressed on, and I started going back into the sort of beauty side as well, which has been really exciting. So we get to go back and forth doing massage, doing nails, doing all the other types of beauty things, which has been really exciting. And uh, well, as Catherine said, there's obviously a broad range of disciplines. So then, Cathy, what do you do at Station 8? I'm a hairdresser there. So I've been there about a year and a half now. So I specialise in colouring and styling. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, and Gemma, and for you? Uh, social media in front of house, and I've been there about two and a half years. Okay. And uh, Catherine, in terms of the growth that you've gone under, and uh, obviously so many different businesses um, all in one, what's happened over the last 12 months that sort of pushed you on? As well, it it's, it's great, really, because after COVID, we were so flat. Um, everybody wanted the hair doing, but it was a case of we've been closed for over a year. And um, it was great because we've been able to establish a new form of team, because most people found in lockdown our stylists and beauticians, that we ended up where we all wanted to be more independent. So rather than running a salon of a team, I'm now running a salon like a hub. So all of them work for themselves within that hub. Okay. So over the last year, we've managed to expand the hub and we've now got a second place as well. So we're just about starting that one in November. Um, so all forward and upwards and onwards. And, uh, and Gemma, with so many uh, businesses, obviously, it's quite a big job for you then in terms of marketing. There's lots of different businesses to, mar to, to market as well. What sort of services do you do for the, for the, for the I, professionals across the team? I do a lot of the uh, hair for them, taking the images for that. Um, and then there's the products that we sell as well, because we also do the retail side for all the professional hair care. Um, and then help the girls with the advertising for their own businesses, for the beauty, um, massage. Uh, nails and just so the general public can see what the girls do and how well they do it. And uh, Cathy, in terms of on the hair side, is it very much keeping with trends and uh, is it a broad range of services from colouring to just uh, the, the classic blow dryers it were to total restyling oh, no, and so forth? It's on the trends, like everyone comes in for the newest trends. It's good, it's never boring. <laughs> There's always something new going on. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Okay, and uh, and I'll just finish with Lauren then, just in terms of uh, the broad range of disciplines, sounds like you do quite a lot of different services, what are your most popular services that you um, offer? I would definitely say massage, so things have expanded as, as things have progressed, so I started off with aromatherapy and Swedish massage, but recently I've done oncology massage because we did have quite a few clients that had suffered with cancer, so I wanted to help them as best um, as best as I could. Well, it sounds like a really thriving place, Station 8 does. So congratulations to you Thank all, you. ladies, Thank on you. your award, and thanks for speaking to us today. Thank you. Thank nice. you.